I didn't quite finish my cough. My personal philosophy is my morality to explain this is how you treat people, this is... When I first get into work, I plug in my laptop and boot up my VM. While that boots up, which could be anywhere from 30 seconds to 3 minutes, I'll go grab some coffee, food, and water. Right now, I already have some coffee, so food and water it is. Now that the VM is ready to go and my computer has had time to wake up, I open up a few main tabs. Google Chat, I check for any updates or information that came my way from my team. My company email, for obvious reasons. Jira, to see how the sprint's going and check what tasks to work on. And Toggle, to track my time. Think of it as a modern day punch card, but a bit more specific. Next step, hop into the VPN. This will allow me to access all of the remote repositories and everything we have going on for this particular project as well as my client assigned email address. Hola. Now at about 9.09, stand up time. The three main things we go over in stand up is what did we do yesterday? What are we doing today? And are there any issues in our way that we need fixing before we can move forward with our task today? And lucky me, just after stand up, I'm tuning into a meeting with my team as well as our client. De like down below? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, what about that? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Where's our coffee bar? I'm thinking the coffee bar is going to be next to the fridge. Deal. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, I'm going to get back to work. Okay, I just want to let you know I'm good. I'm glad I went well. I love you. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, I should probably recap, y'all. We're remodeling a house. Molly had just met with a contractor again, again, and. Things are underway. <laughs> you know, I've been a blue collar worker all my life. It's a, like, if I had to talk about the one thing I don't like the most about being a software developer is that you have to sit at a computer all day. I expected it, but I had never done that until I got this job about a year ago. And it's just, I need my walks. I need to be able to come outside get some fresh air, and just enjoy this beautiful weather. Now, many of y'all know that my particular job right now, I'm on a project where it's a, it's a I guess, full stack development project. It's an enterprise application. I work front end, angular work. I do back end, more so Java, Spring Boot, that type of work. But last year I worked on a lot of different projects that were kind of like the fun projects that all the other engineers didn't really have time for. And then I also did a lot of marketing for the company. Now, something that really helped me out with that marketing are a few courses that I took on Skillshare. And as you all know, Skillshare is a long supporter of the channel and is also sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning platform for creators like you and I. A lot of video courses going over business, marketing, freelancing, development. Their courses really helped me out. Y'all can see a few of them here. And I think they can really help y'all out too if any of those things are something that you want to get into or you want to progress in. I would highly recommend using the link in the top of the description because you're able to get Skillshare Premium for free for two months for the first 500 of y'all that use that link. In back of the desk, we're finally going to be getting into a bit of development work. Now, I may have to blur out the screen a little bit so you can't see everything that's going on behind the scenes, but the short of it, I'm going to be focusing on integration testing for the rest of the day. Basically, integration testing is where we've just recently thrown together all features, bug fixes, and code that's been done this sprint, and all I'm trying to do now is see what I can break, log that break into Jira, and fix it. Give me just a moment, please. Okay. Hi, I'm about to 
Panda. My name is Lisa. Would you like to try a new waffle ice cream today? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, can I go with a plate, please? Half chow mein, half fried rice. Can I go with uh, orange chicken and Beijing beef, please? Orange and Beijing. Any egg rolls? Swear to God. Uh, no, thank you. Hey, you have a Beijing and Yes. Well, the rest of the day uh, didn't really go as planned. In my mind, integration testing the rest of the day. It wasn't until 2 o'clock that I was reminded that I have a 2 o'clock meeting. And that meeting, we hold it uh, every week. Basically, that whole entire meeting, uh, for, for the most part, we discussed our Git flow. It, normally, you would have a Git flow similar to this, where you have your development branch, that's what you work on. Whenever you're integrating a new feature, what have you, you create that particular feature branch, you submit some pull requests for your team to review your code. Once you get it approved, you merge that on over into your development branch, and your development branch is hooked up to your test server. So you're able to test it up there uh, with, with the real database instead of on your local server and it, it test server. And then once you're ready for your next release, you throw that over to the release branch, and that is hooked up to your QA server. And then once you have kind of cycled through the development, uh, the, the test QA deal until it's ready for production, you throw it on over from release to master into production. And the thing is, our system is a little bit more nuanced because of how our client wants it. So we spent like a solid hour of that one and a half, two hour meeting just discussing that one topic, which is never the topic of discussion for this particular meeting, which just shows you how, how, wild it's gotten but that's okay i think we found a decent solution with what we're given but now it's about five o'clock and i'm going home oh all oh, this junk can i just can i just like <sighs> that makes life a little bit easier oh yeah and before you say anything about my setup back here i've broken it down a little bit we're actually moving offices in about two two weeks and I have big plans coming for my development setup, so just stay, stay tuned. I've showed you the software side of things. Just wait until I have everything set up and I'll make a video on that. Now that I'm home, my dogs are gonna freak out. Hey, Lisa! Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Hey! Oh, easy, easy. Stay. Break. Hey, baby! Good potty. Good doggy. Pop it. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Get it. Now that I'm home from work, spent a little time with the family, now it's time for YouTube work. Editing, emails, and whatever else I find myself doing in this realm. Now, in all honesty, I probably could have made a whole entire video of what was just going on in family time, but for now, that's that's basically it for a day in the life of a software engineer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this, and like I said, do all of this side of work, which isn't so typical for your software engineer. I do wanna leave you off with a little bit, not every night, do I come up here and work on the YouTube stuff? I could expect to do that maybe three nights a week. Tomorrow night, I'm actually going to be going to a family dinner. And the very next night, we're going to be taking Rainy to puppy classes. So it just depends on what's going on that particular week, that particular day. That determines what I'll be doing after work. Like this video if you liked it. And if you did like this video, check out a few other videos on the channel because I have a good feeling that if you like this video, then you'll like some of those other ones that I've previously made and many more to come in the near future you'll probably enjoy. So consider subscribing. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.